SNAP for CT nutritionist. Today we're going to be talking all about berries. Berries are a great member of the fruit group. They're full of antioxidants and fiber. You've probably heard of antioxidants before. They're the nutrients in food that help our bodies fight disease. They're really great for us. Fiber is good for us for a few reasons. First, it's good for helping us feel full. That can stop us from overeating. Also, fiber is good for our heart health because it lowers our bad cholesterol. Lastly, fiber is good for our digestive systems and it helps us stay regular. Today, I'm going to show you the best ways to select, store, and prepare berries so you can get the most for your money. You know at snap for ct we're all about eating well and spending less. When choosing berries, select ones that are firm, bright, and evenly colored. Today I have strawberries, blueberries, and some golden raspberries to show you. So when you're selecting blueberries, if you notice there's a little bit of a white um, dusting on top of the blueberry, that's actually a in good indication that the berry is ripe. Um, that's called the bloom. So don't mistake that for mold or being a bad sign. Um, that bloom is a good sign. Strawberries, again, firm, brightly colored. Um, did you know that strawberries have about 200 seeds on them? That's where all that great fiber comes from. You'll want to refrigerate your unwashed berries in a single layer that is lightly covered. Berries can last in the refrigerator uh, for a couple days to about a week. When you're washing berries, you want to be very careful with them because they're delicate. While it's okay to wash them under a running faucet, one of the best methods is to use a bowl and a colander, which I'll show you right now. Let's wash some of our blueberries. So if you have a bowl filled with water, and just some of the berries into that colander, you can just gently swish them in the water and then allow them to dry in that drainer. And that prevents the berries from being crushed. So with something larger like a strawberry, you could just throw them into the bowl. And swish them around with your hands. And lay them on paper towels to dry. You could pat the paper towel. The reason that we don't want to wash our berries right when we get them home is because washing them can make them mushy before you go to eat them. Now these berries are ready to eat. If you weren't going to eat them right away, say you bought some extra at the store because they happen to be on sale, what you could do is we're going to lay them on the tray with a paper towel, let them dry. Once they're dry, remove that paper towel, take the tops off the strawberries, and put the whole tray into the freezer. Let them freeze. Um, we do this because if we put them right into a bag and froze them, they would freeze together in one clump. So we want to make sure they freeze separately. And then once they're frozen, take them out, throw them in a plastic bag, write the date and what the item is on the bag. The berries will last in the freezer for about three to six months. Now let's talk about the best part, eating those berries. So most people typically eat berries by themselves as a snack or on top of cereal or on top of oatmeal thrown into smoothies, things like that, but there's a lot of other uses for berries. Today we're going to show you how to make a delicious strawberry pepper salsa. Before we start making that recipe, let's talk about how much fruit we should have a day. So for the average adult, about two cups is the recommended amount. So you see, if we fill this cup with berries, that's already about a cup. So it's not so hard to reach the recommended amount of two cups. It sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. So this recipe calls for fresh strawberries. If you can't find fresh strawberries or good looking ones near you, don't worry, there's a lot of options. First, you could look at the other berries in your store and see how they look and substitute those for strawberries. Or you could add frozen unsweetened strawberries, just let them thaw, drain off the juice, and use them in the salsa. Either way, this is gonna be delicious. I know that a sweet salsa sounds strange, but the combination of sweet and heat is delicious. So let's get started. I have my two cups of berries in the bowl already. Now I'm going to add some red onion. If you don't have red onion, you could use 
white onion. Let's add some jalapenos. We kept the seeds and the ribs in. That makes it a little bit spicier. But if you don't like something so spicy, just leave those out. Omit the jalapeno entirely. Um, whatever you like, you can make this recipe your own. Let's add some bell peppers. We have a mixture of green, orange, and red. But again, use whatever you have. This recipe will be delicious. Cilantro for seasoning. Now, if you don't like cilantro, again, just leave it out or substitute another herb that you like. All right, then I already have my lemon juice squeezed with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Pour that over. And we'll mix that up. Isn't that beautiful? You see all those beautiful colors. You can serve this almost even as a salad, but um, with chips, tortilla chips would be delicious. So thank you for joining me today to learn a little bit more about berries. As always, you can find more healthy, easy recipes on our website. That's snapforct.org. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.